Okay, what we're going to do here in step 25 is go ahead and add some little bolts here on the front of the front bumper. We're doing a little detail work here. So what we're going to do is do this really simple is add a spear. Just going to pull it forward. Go ahead and make it editable. Go to F3 side view. Let's go over here. And you can lower the subdivision or the uh, sections if you want to or add more. I'm going to leave it with what it already has. And I'm going to select all these points. Delete. F1. Go here and we want to make it look like a little bit more of a real bolt. So what we're going to do is go to the line tool, loop selection, and select that, and then go to the extrude, extrude just a little tiny bit, and let's scale it down just a little bit, scale in just a little bit, we'll extrude it twice there, so there we go. And then extrude one more time. There you go. To give it some thickness, scale it. We want it pretty straight with the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then extrude one more time and pull it in. There we go. All right. And there is our bolt. Go back to object tool mode or model mode tool. Let's go ahead, if you've got your plug plug-in axis uh, center tool or axis tool, and all that does is put the axis back to the center. Let's go to coordinates. And what we want to do is rotate, rotate this so that uh, faces frontwards, and I should have done negative 90. I forgot I have this model. I'm working backwards. So normally we'll just push 90. So let's go to uh, head and shrink it down. Sure. You don't have to get it perfect. Let's go to F4 front view. And then you can see our bolt. And let's move it around so that we can get it in the right spot. And the frame of the truck part goes right about there. That's what this is connected to. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Scale it again. That looks pretty good right there. Let's space bar. Move it over just a little bit so it lines up pretty good with that right there. Not perfect, but you want it more over to this side. There you go. F3. And let's pull it into the bumper. Now we may have to retweet this later on. I'll pull it up a little bit. F2 top view. Because we may tweak when we get down to the model, model's extra finish. We're going to want to clean it up. We may move points around. The bumpers we may smooth out a little bit. We may do a lot of things to change on this truck. Put a little bit, put a little bit of air between it. Let's rotate it a little bit more. And so it's off the bumper there. F3, let's zoom into that. Make sure we've got it where it's matching the bumper. Display, let's go to line tool so we can see our lines. Pretty good. There we go. Let's go up there and get a close look at it. Let's do a little fast little render of it right there and see how it sets up on that. Looks pretty good. Okay, so you want to do copy, paste it, and slide it down. Front view, F4. There we go. That looks a lot better. And this one you may have to move in just a tiny bit because it curves in. There we go. Sink it in just a little bit. F3, go to the side view, the rotation tool. Rotate it a little bit so it looks even. There we go. Pretty good. Looks good on that side too. Okay. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and do copy paste one more time. F4 front view. And let's move this all the way over here to the edge. And even it up center with this part up here. Okay. F1. It's going to come in a little bit. Wait till you see it sink. There we go. Let's go to top view. There we go. And let's rotate it a little bit. So if it's on the bumper a little bit better, pull it out a little bit. 
and F3 side view. Let's go ahead and rotate it again. Space bar. We should go right back to the rotation tool. And let's pull out a little bit. Put a little air in between it and the mesh. There we go. There's some detail done. Now we have the bolts holding it together. What we want to go do now is go here. And you can rename all these to bolts or just group them and then name it bolts. And then put it into the can that block B L T S bolts and then drop it into your symmetry objects. There we go. And now it's on both sides of the truck. And that's the end of step 25 of the bolts. And the next thing we'll be going to do is the tires and rims. So we'll probably model them together. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And so that's it for this. Save. And let's move to the next part.